What's going on YouTube? Uh, I know it's been a while, but I've gotten quite a few questions in Discord about um, some keyboard and mouse things. So I wanted to go over a quick, uh, maybe a frequently asked questions or, uh, you know, kind of hitting some of the, the more important points of setting up your keyboard and mouse for the Zen. So first of all, um, a question I get asked a lot is, do I need two keyboards and two mouse f for this? Um, the, the quick answer is no, but it makes it easier if you do have two um, or a keyboard and mouse switcher because um, you're going to be programming things in, in Zen on your PC and then you're going to also need your keyboard and mouse to apply the settings to your uh, Zen. So for instance, if we go here to our mouse and keyboard settings. It's going to detect all the devices. I don't have them set up right now, but I am using a keyboard and mouse switcher. And I'll show you how that works in a second. Uh, first of all, this right here, make sure your polling rate is at least 250 hertz and your DPI is around 4000. Pretty important. Makes the game works a lot better. <clears throat> so you can see it detects my mouse because it can detect it through the PC, but it doesn't for a keyboard. I'm going to push this button on my keyboard and mouse switcher. And now it shows my keyboard and mouse here. Okay. But as you can see, I can't control either of them. I'm moving my mouse all around and nothing works because they're only being used on the Zen. And this is what you would do. You would pl put plug them into your PC. And instead of having to switch them out to your Zen, you just use a keyboard and mouse switcher and then uh, just push the button, program your buttons, and then go back if you need to. So I'm gonna go back to PC now, and there's my mouse again, okay? So um, just going over uh, what this screen is, kind of high view, keyboard and mouse buttons. Basically, you double click it, and it'll uh, tell you what button do you wanna map this to, and then you push that button on either your keyboard or mouse. Pretty self-explanatory there, right? Um, over here, we have the uh, detected devices. Now, a question I get asked a lot is, um, you know, my device shows a question mark here. Is it going to work? This means that the Zen does not natively detect your device, the brand or the model or whatever it may be. That doesn't mean it won't work, and there are devices that are natively supported by the Zen, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Um, so if you're in the market for a new keyboard and mouse for gaming, pick one off that list just to be sure. But if you see a question mark here, it doesn't mean that it won't work. Okay, And once you plug in the new stuff, you can hit rescan it and rescan it again. This console right here. <coughs> PC defaults to Xbox, but if you want to change this, um, you can do one of two things. You can either uh, plug in a controller of that console to your Zen and to the A1 port, and then it'll detect what console you're using, or you can go over here to the device tab and change it. So say I want a PlayStation. It's going to detect, and now we're looking at a PS4, and now our buttons for that should be PS4, okay? And if that doesn't work, if that doesn't detect your buttons, because it doesn't sometimes, um, just plug a controller in. Yeah, it's still detecting Xbox here. Oh no, there it goes, so now it changed. As you can see here, now we have PlayStation buttons, okay? But this setting right here is very, very important. But let's go back over here first. <clears throat> so now it's you know it's going to run the detection process here and then it's going to tell you what keyboard and mouse you have connected like i said mine are, are both non-detectable but they both still work okay acceleration and smoothness both do what they sound like acceleration puts extra input to your x or y axis x being um, your left and right y being your up and down Okay, so if you need to change those independently, you can. Smoothness is just a f finesse setting, so play with that as you will. Sensitivity is sensitivity, you know, you can increase it if you need more, decrease it if you need less, um, and you're telling it right here what stick you want to use for that, for your aiming. Okay, ADS to hip ratio percent, 
this changes your sensitivity based on if you're holding down your um, ADS button. So if you want more sense or less sense in ADS, you can adjust that here. Dead zone compensation pretty much uh, just tries to fight the in-game dead zone. So usually you want to put that as low as the game pack recommends or a zero. And you can change your dead zone here to um, give you those more fine movements if needed. You know, start them as always as low as possible and then move them up as you need. Okay. Once you do all of that stuff and you think you have a good settings, you hit up here, finalize layout, and then that'll save the settings to your design. Okay. So I don't want to finalize layout. Next, you're going to go to the device tab like we just talked about. You're going to make sure you go to this emulator output protocol and set this to whatever you're playing on. Very important. Don't leave it on auto. If you're playing on PlayStation, set it to PlayStation. If you're playing on Xbox, set it to Xbox. If you're playing on PC, send it to PC. Uh, and after you do that, go over here, program tab, hit save. Just do that just because. Um, hopefully it should lock in that device that you just saved in here. And if you restart the Zen Studio, this should come back up and not on auto, but on the um, output that you selected. Uh, and then the last thing you're going to want to do is I don't have any footage for it right now, but go into your game of choice. Again, the setup is for any game. It's not game specific, but go into your game of choice. Um, go into the controller settings because remember the Zen transforms your keyboard and mouse into a controller. Okay, so go into your controller settings and go into the uh, aim or the um, sensitivity of that controller and max it out completely because you want to have the full range of sensitivity to use on your Zen and then you make the fine adjustments in Zen Studio rather than in uh, in the game okay so just max that way out and then before you even load a game pack or anything get in there make sure all your movement is working and then once it is that's when you can upload a game pack uh, and then you map match your buttons in your game pack to what you said they are in the zen match your sensitivity to what it says that it is in game all of that stuff right make sure everything matches um, your game pack and your or your game pack settings and your game itself those two settings sets need to match and then you should be off to the races and it's just fine-tuning after that um, so I hope this answers a lot of the questions that I uh, tend to get in discord um, and if you guys uh, have any more feel free to leave a comment or um, join the discord it'll be linked in the description and uh, that's it for me thanks guys